Hey guys, it's Marky and welcome back to my channel. If bago ka palang sa channel na to, please don't forget to subscribe kasi marami pa akong videos na gagawin tulad nito. So isa lamang ng video na to sa video series na ginawa ko where I revealed kung ano ba yung mga lessons ang binibigay ng teacher sa senior high school or ano ba yung mga lessons na binibigay sa inyo as a student on specific subject. If hindi nyo pa nakikita yung previous videos ko, you can check this link so that may idea kayo kung ano ba yung pinag-uusapan sa ibang subject. Sa video na to, isi-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung pinag-uusapan sa Philippine Politics and Governance ng yung strand. Jung's lessons about Philippine Politics and Governance. Subject, yun nga, Philippine Politics and Governance. So this course introduces the students to the basic concepts and vital elements of politics and governance. The course helps the learners gain a better appreciation of their rights and responsibilities as individuals and as members of larger social political community to strengthen your civic competence. Content and competence. So ganun pa rin. Content and competency. Content is yung topic na pag-usapan sa Philippine politics and governance and competency is yung ano yung kailangan yung achieve or kailangan yung gawin. The first topic about um, Philippine politics and governance is introduction, the concepts of politics and governance, what is the meaning of politics, how politics can be studied, and the meaning of governance. So, anong gagawin? Articulate definitions of politics. Kailangan yung sabihin yung definition of politics. Mag-research kayo ng tungkol, tungkol dyan. Differentiate the various views on politics. So, ano ba yung pananaw niyo tungkol sa politics? And recognize the value of politics. And you have to differentiate governance from government. So, kailangan nyo magbasa kung ano ba yung difference or pagkakaiba ng governance sa government. Next topic, political ideologies. The basic beliefs of the major political ideologies. Ideologies, liberalism, socialism, and conservatism. Yun yung ating three major political ideologies. Identify, anong gagawin? Identify the basic Tenants or beliefs of major political ideologies, liberalism, socialism, and conservatism. So, kailangan nyo mag-research tungkol sa mga paniniwala ng mga political ideologies na ito. Differentiate the political ideologies, yung tatlo, and critic ideas that have a direct impact on how we try to manage ourselves as a political community. Yun yung gagawin nyo. Next topic, power. Ano yung power? The nature of power, dimensions of power, the types and consequences of power. Define power, recognize the nature, dimensions, types, and consequences of power. So, kailangan yung magbasa tungkol dyan. Kailangan yung, you have to read something about that. And assess how power is exercised in different situations. So, paano daw gamitin yung power in different situations, especially when it comes to politics. Next topic is states, nations, and globalization. Kailangan nyo i-define ang nation and state. Anong pagkakaiba, anong pagkakatulad ng, def ng terms na yan, ng nation and state. We also have differentiate nation from state. Yun nga sinabi ko. And explain meanings of globalization. Ano ba yung meaning ng globalization? Kailangan nyo basahin niya. Evaluate how globalization influences nation states. Historical background of Philippine democratic politics. Yun yung ating next topic. So, relate the evolution of Philippine politics and governance. Evolution ng Philippine politics, yung nangyari noon at nangyari ngayon when it comes to politics and governance. Describe the different stages in the evolution of the Philippine politics and governance. So, you have to read more about this one kasi uh, parang naka-timeline dapat ito. Okay? Maybe gagawa kayo ng timeline tungkol dito. Another is, you have to assess the effects of the colonial experience on Philippine politics and governance. So, ano ba yung naging epekto ng pananakop ng, for example, Spanish or Spaniards and Japanese and Americans sa pag-form ng ating Philippine politics and the way we govern or the Philippine governance. Number six, the executive. Ito na. The role of the Philippine president in relation to his or her power. So, sinabi ko sa video ko noon tungkol sa yung strand na pag-uusapan nyo talaga yung presidente ng Pilipinas. So, ito na yun. So explains the you have to explain the roles and powers of the Philippine president. Kailangan kayo magbasa ano ba yung power ng Philippine president when it comes to governing or when it comes to politics. Analyze how contemporary or modern Philippine presidents exercise their powers. So of course, when you talk about contemporary Philippine presidents, kailangan niyo ng research at tungkol. Kailangan kailangan kayo magresearch tungkol kay Duterte or kay Aquino or kay sino pa yung mga modern presidents natin. You have to critic 
the Philippine President's Exercise of Power. So, ano ba yung mga ginawa ni Duterte? Ano ba yung ginawa ni Aquino? So, maybe you have to compare. Maybe kailangan niya i-compare yung administration. And I think this is a good topic on debate sa Yums. So, another is the legislative. Ano ba yung purpose ng the role and responsibilities of the Philippine Senate and House of Representatives? So, anong gagawin dito sa legislative? Discuss the roles and responsibilities of Philippine Senate and House of Representatives. So, you have to read specifically about the functions of the Senate. Ano ba yung mga ginagawa, nang ginagawa sa Senate? Or ano yung ginagawa sa House of Representatives? Especially, Ilan ba yung tao sa, sen sa, sa House of Representatives or ilan ba yung tao sa Philippine Senate? So, kailangan yung i-research. Yan. Now, assess the performance of Philippine Congress. So, ayun. So, in assessing the performance of Philippine Congress, you have to really read news or watch news on TV or read articles about Philippine Congress. Kung ano ba yung nagawa nila? Ano ba yung mga bills na inaipasa na? Ano ba yung mga batas na naipasa na? Or ano ba yung mga ginagawa ng tao sa Philippine Congress. So, you have to appraise the impact of Congress performance in the Philippine development. So, kailangan kayo talagang mag-research. Mag, mag kailangan nyo i-appraise. Kailangan nyo i-check kung ano yung impact ng Congress sa pag-develop or sa performance ng uh, sa pag-develop sa Pilipinas. Another topic is the judiciary, the role and responsibilities responsibilities of Philippine judiciary. Identify the roles and responsibilities of the Philippine judiciary. Ano ba yung role? Ano ba yung judiciary branch ng government? So, kailangan yung i-identify yan, the responsibilities ng Philippine judiciary. Discuss how the judiciary exercises political neutrality and fairness. So, bakit kailangan daw fair and neutral yung ating judiciary branch ng government? Kasi yung legislative yung executive and judiciary mag yung yun yung ating three basic branches of government so kailangan yung basahin niya evaluate the performance of the Philippine judiciary as a dispenser of justice and a protector of constitutional safeguards to freedom number 9 decentralization and, lo and local governance so local governance so ito na yung sinasabi identify the different levels of Philippine local government ano yung level ng local government niyo so explain the roles and functions of local government unit. LGU, local government unit. So it depends kung saan kayo nakatira, kung anong city kayo nakatira. So ito na yung sinasabi natin na you have to be really active in community engagement kasi marami, sa yung marami kayong gagawin interviews and reports. Gaya nito. Also, you have to conduct an interview with barangay officials on community programs. So yun nga. Diba? So, hindi nyo pa, if hindi nyo pa kilala yung, yung mga barangay leaders, as early as now, kilala niyo na because for sure, marami kayong gagawin interviews when it comes to local governance. Or tatanungin nyo sila kung ano ba yung mga projects or ano ba yung mga plano ng inyong mga local barangay officials sa inyong barangay. So, number 10, you have elections and political parties. The nature of elections and political parties in the context of the Philippines. Political parties, marami yan. Describe the nature of elections and political parties in the Philippines. So you have to describe it. Political parties, you have to research about that. So identify the types of electoral systems and analyze the nature of elections and political parties in the Philippines. So you have to analyze. So before you can analyze, you have to identify kung ano ba yung mga political parties dito sa Pilipinas. So marami yan, marami. You have to read about that. So civil society and social movements. Politi political participation outside formal institutions. Anong gagawin? Discuss the concepts of civil society and social movements. Nako, kailangan yung magbasa tungkol dyan. Explain the contributions of civil society organizations and social movement to Philippine democracy. So, kailangan, you have to read about civil society organizations sa Pilipinas. Marami din yan. Evaluate the role of civil society organizations and social movements. So, in Google, you just have to write civil society organizations in the Philippines. Tapos, lalabas na yung mga result dyan. Citizenship. The traditional and modern views of citizenship. Explain kung ano yung citizenship. Assess the various venue avenues for citizen partner participation. Rather, illustrate the value of citizenship. Ano ba yung value of citizenship? And we have um, number 13. 
how the concepts and ideas learned in class can be utilized in actual experiences. Ito na yung you will be applying what you have learned in this subject sa actual experiences ninyo when it comes to Philippine politics and governance. Number one, you have to identify issues related to political engagement and youth empowerment. So identify issues related to political engagement. Youth empowerment because again, you have to study about this because again, you're still youth, you're still teenagers and you can relate to this topic. Determine programs that address issues related to political engagement and youth empowerment. So I think you have to have, or you, have you need to submit a case study regarding this one. And of course, guy, oh, you know, conduct a research for a draft proposal on a project on political engagement and youth empowerment. So again, you have to go to your local barangay officials, ask them if they have projects regarding or in connection with youth empowerment. So basically, yun yung pag-uusapan yung sa Philippine politics and governance. So if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up or like this video and share it to your friends so that they'll also have an idea kung ano yung pag-uusapan sa yung strand. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more senior high school tips and advice. This has been your friend Sir Marky saying, Laban lang!